Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. Today, we are going to be playing some Siege Timber Mill. We've actually got two Grandmasters in our game, so this is probably the worst possible scenario for me to do what I'm about to do. If you read the title, it's probably somewhere in the thumbnail too. We are going to be doing the worst Vivian loadout. I had a comment on one of my videos the other day from one of you guys saying, Hey, I really like Vivian. I think she's really cool. She's pretty hard to mess up with. Could you see the worst loadout for Vivian and try and play with it? So he left me the loadout. We've got it set up here. Hopefully we can still do decent. This will actually show you whether the loadout makes a difference on Vivian. I don't think it does that much. Obviously she's going to be much better with the right loadout. But there are a couple ways to build her. The way I build her is just that she has infinite ammo. This one is just a complete mess. Shoutouts to the team. We've got a 16 Grandmaster Grok, 15 Grandmaster Damber, 7 Ying, 14 Diamond Buck, and I'm playing Vivian, who I've got rank 7. I'm going against a 7 Master Strix, 3 unranked people, and a Grandmaster's Vivian, who's 9. I, I don't get what's going on here with the ranks and stuff, but I'm, I'm okay with it. We're going to go for the same legendary card, because I could use Suspect Everybody, but actually, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna do messed up Vivian. We might as well do it with the wrong legendary card too, the one that you start off with. This is a normal loadout I use. Use this one. I heavily recommend this one. This is being recorded on OB63, and by the time you watch this, I'll probably be away. So keep that in mind. OB64 might be out by the time you watch this video, and there might be a bunch of card changes. But just in case it isn't, that's the loadout I recommend for Vivian. It works really, really well. Today we're doing this one. We get 20% movement speed. We get our drone reveal people for two extra seconds. We get 100 health. We heal for 200 if we kill somebody who's revealed by the drone, and we also. So increase the vision range of the drone by 20%. So this is pretty much a drone Vivian loadout. Is it going to suck? Probably. We're going to go for Kronos. Might as well go all in on this motherfucking drone. But yeah, that's the reason there's been a couple missed videos here and there. I try to do one every day, but I'm going to be away when you watch this. So if there's been a couple that haven't... If there have been a couple days where there haven't been videos, that's the reason why. Let's go flank. I'm going with my boy Buck. I've got two ground masses on my team. Time to embarrass myself. Hello, dude. What's popping? There's no way I'm going to win this fight. I mean, I've got you revealed for ages because of my, my trusty drone. What would I have done without my drone? I could see the bloke that's killing me. Jesus Christ. This doesn't make or break Vivian. It kind of just makes Vivian kind of eh. When Vivian is great and you're using the right loadout and you've got the right legendary, she's fucking fantastic. I love Vivian to death. One of my favorite damage characters. With the wrong legendary card and the wrong loadout, Vivian is kind of just like something that could be great that is kind of just trash. It's like... If you have vanilla ice cream, and then you chuck a bunch of shit on it. Again, that was a terrible analogy, but let's just go with it. Can I get a single kill? I feel weird only actually having 80 shots. I'm used to only 8 out of... I'm used to 8 out of 10 bullets that come out of my gun not use ammo. So this actually is what it's like to have 80 straight shots. The reveal range on that is ridiculous, might I mention. We actually still got a kill. The sensor drone is really, really strong now. But the sensor drone is decent anyway. I don't feel like that's the best part about Vivian. It's our gun. If you're going to go for, like, Reveal Vivian, then I guess this would work. I just, I don't know why you'd use this loadout. I went for Kronos, but kind of wish I went for something else. We're actually going to cap this. If we win, it won't be because of me, because I'm going to play like trash this whole game. It's going to be because of my team. We have three healers, though, so luckily they are not taking it too seriously either. Um, yeah, luckily they're not being super try-hard. Can we, can we clear up? That's not me. That's the Grok. Saying that Grok is play being played like a damage character at the moment in the current meta, so he's not really a healer. Um, I'm really interested to see what happens with LB64. I've seen a lot of negative reaction from you guys. At the time of recording this video, I haven't looked into it that much, so I don't really know that much about it. I'll make a video on it properly, I'm sure, by the when it actually releases. Yeah, by the time it releases, I'll, I'll have a video on it, trust me. Uh, I'm going to wait until it comes out of PTS, because I don't know that much about it, and I'll wait till the final version of it's actually out. I'm sure once it releases, if it's getting negative feedback, I'm sure they'll change it. They're usually pretty good at listening to the community, but I, I don't really know where it's going to go. I'm just letting you guys know why I haven't, like, talked about it all that much. I have mentioned it briefly, just saying that I'm not going to talk about it until it's out, but I just want to make a proper thingy about it. Hello. This is nice, because we've got vision all the time, but I just feel like it... It's a misuse of Vivian and it upsets me. Vivian could be so much better than the way we're playing her right now and this this kind of is annoying. It's got a massive vision range and we get the, the vision on them for so long, but man, the reload time takes forever. I'm not used to even reloading just because of the fact that we use a different loadout most of the time. Where is everybody? Oh, it's their Vivian. Oh, okay. I wonder if their Vivian's using a proper loadout. She's using the right legendary card, or the one that I'd use, but she's going for... Huh, okay, so she's going for a loadout that I would call the wrong loadout. That's a nice card to have, the train set movement speed's kind of nice, but the other cards that she's got are cards that I wouldn't put on. Maybe I'd try that loadout, it looks kind of interesting. I much prefer the one where you've got infinite ammo, because then you can just go balls to the wall and hold fire the entire time, which I don't think you can do with the one she's got. And that's the way I like to play Vivian, just balls to the wall. Balls everywhere and every wall has balls on it. That's what we're going with. Can we kill her? 
Probably not. I feel like I'm going to die like this. Are we going to die like this? Can you not do that, please? Can he still hit me here? Yep, he can still hit me here. I'm going to die now. It's worth a try. I wasn't sure if he could see the top of my head. I mean, realistically, he just hit me through a, through a, through a thing, but we're not even going to talk about that. Haven. Kill to heal. That's not kill to heal. That's life rip and cauterize. I feel bad doing this. This is a weird video. You guys recommended this to me, and I was like, sure, let's give it a go. But it just... It doesn't feel like Vivian. It feels like a different character, one that isn't as good. This is like what Vivian would be like if she got absolutely nerfed into the ground, I feel like. She just got all of her good cards taken away. I mean, you can still deal damage, but it's just like... Oh no, it's just not as good. That 20% makes a surprising difference, because I've not used this loadout before. I've also not used this legendary card before. Uh, like I said, in the first video I made of Vivian, I said I'm probably not going to use the damage reduction one because I much prefer the one where you get extra damage. I feel like she's she's played better as a character that is just straight damage and not focused on defending herself. If you've got a good team, they'll cover you. I don't know why I didn't have hair for a second there. That was really strange. So I, I think I can actually answer the question that this video was meant to answer already. Is Vivian good without the, the better loadout for her? Not really. I wouldn't say she's better. I'd say she's just... She's just... Okay, she's, she's not great now, is what I was trying to say. I didn't really explain that very well. She's great with the right stuff. With this, she's okay. She's like half assed Vivian, if that makes sense. She's not the best she could be. She could definitely still be worse by being played by someone who doesn't know what they're doing. I've played quite a bit of Vivian, so I'd like to think I'm at least half decent with her. But yeah, this kind of ruins her. This isn't the best way to play her. The loadout doesn't make as much of a difference. I feel like it's more the legendary card. I feel like this loadout with the different legendary card, with Opportunity and Chaos, would still be decent. Because that movement speed buff is nice. It's not as good as the infinite ammo, if you ask me, but it's nice. And so is this other stuff, and so is some of the things she's got there. But for me, I love the infinite ammo thing. I know it's not technically infinite ammo, but it's pretty much infinite ammo. You end up firing like 300 shots before you run out. At that point, it might as well just be infinite ammo. Uh, where are they at? Let's throw that over there so we can actually get vision on them. I can't really see anybody right now. I see a Shaolin. I see a Genos. I see everybody. Okay, we've got vision now. Let's chuck that over there so we can get some more vision inside. Okay, there's a Strix back there. I have to reload. I'm not used to having to do that. That's weird. I'm going to die here. If he hits me in the foot, I'm a, I'm a goner. Saying that, we've done a pretty good job of, of dealing decent damage to him there. Is he running back round still? I'm going to keep holding fire. I'm used to never having to reload, so this is really strange. Oh, it sucks. I don't like it. I don't like having to see that animation. It hurts me. Can you not, Strix? He's actually really bad. I've been up here for ages. He hasn't killed me yet. Neither's the Shaolin. Have we capped it? What are they doing? What have they been doing this entire time? Can we kill him? Oh, wow. If I had infinite ammo, he'd be dead. No joke, he would be dead right now if I had infinite ammo. That's not even a joke. If I had infinite ammo, I wouldn't have had to stop to reload there. How are we winning this? How are we two to How are we three to nil when I'm playing a fucked up version of Vivian? Not today, Strix. My shield just absorbed that. Are we going in? Is that what's happening? Are we just going to push this? I feel so bad because I know I'd be demolishing, like, properly if I was playing with a normal loadout. Instead, I'm here with this. Is Strix up here? Hello. I mean, we might as well finish him off. She's still okay. She's still decent, but she's just nowhere near as good. Maybe it's just because I'm used to it. I don't know. It's going to be a 4-0 win either way. So, yeah, answering the question properly, she's still okay to good. She's just not great, if you ask me. She was overpowered, I think, before she was pulled down. I think everybody kind of knew that deep down inside that she was a little bit too good. With this, I mean, if you played it like this, you wouldn't think she was overpowered just because it, it's, it's just not right. Can you not? Thank you. We're still beating the other Vivian, though. Yo, Burke, what's popping? She's still got the ult. Obviously, that's not changed with the build we've got. It's going to be a 4-0 win. Let's taunt. I didn't even hit B in time. God damn. We just won that game, by the way, with a damage, three support characters. I didn't get top play. That's a pretty damn nice Vivian skin. I do like that color thing they've got where it's just like all white and then she's got the red hair. That's that's pretty damn cool. So Grandmaster Vivian. She was a Grandmaster Vivian. Holy shit, I beat a Grandmaster Vivian. I did have two Grandmasters on our team. She's just like piling out shots here. Did I live or did I die here? I think I died there. That was when I was being an idiot. There we go. What a weird game. Although it has answered my question, which is good, because I was wondering. So she had more damage than me, of course she did. I actually probably gonna have like a tiny amount of damage. 44k, not that bad. Our team did really weirdly. I don't know how we won that. We didn't have a frontliner. There were no frontliners that game. What was that match? That was such a weird game. It was a mix between people who were really high ranked, because we had like three grandmasters in that game, and masters, and people that weren't ranked at all. There were like five unranked people in that game. I don't know how that works. I did okay. All of our team did okay. Nobody did overwhelmingly well. Grok was the only guy pushing the objective that whole game. None of them really touched it. I did a decent amount. Damma did a decent amount. Ying did some. 
he was the main guy pushing it, and this, like, that was just weird. There was no frontliner. They had a sniper, a sniper, a damage, a flank, and a healer. We had three healers, a flank, and a damage. I, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know what happened there. That was just really, really strange. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. This may be one of the weirdest videos I think we've ever made. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. As always, unless I timed it with the music, stay frosty.